How's it going, everyone? My name is Sasparillo, and this is Starbound. My name's actually Systemsy, but anyways, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to, as I said, another episode of Starbound. Today, we're going to be doing what we thought we were going to be doing last episode, which is certain management. I've done a lot of adventuring. I've gone through a few different planets now, and I've gotten a good amount of ore. So we've got a good amount of gold bars, so we can get the other uh, thing. I forgot what it was. No, where did I put that uh, gold at? Oh no, there it is. Okay, so let's, can I not switch to there? We'll do that, and then, am I not like able? Ah, uh, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> um, and I got more of these man manipulator modules, as you can tell. So, maybe, now that takes 16, that takes 12, that one's 6, and that one's 3. Yeah, maybe we should hold off. We should have enough for the uh, 3x3 one soon, though. And uh, more weapons, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And is that tungsten bars? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, I've got that, and I've got the cotton wool, too. So, if we go over here, we can make the teddy bear. Finally, and now that means we can basically do two missions entirely. So let's go ahead, go to the outpost, and get this stuff traded. I think our first stop is definitely going to be the bear. He should hopefully give us another manipulator module. My little Dipper lost his teddy bear. I just can't finish setting up shop with, uh, with him like this. Can you help me get a new teddy bear for him, please? Guess what? I got it. <laughs> Little Dipper is happy now. Thank you. Now I can finish opening up the shop. Uh, oh wait, that was really fast, dude. You already finished it. Um, so what did you, what did you give me? Oh yeah, look, that's exactly what I thought it'd be. A manipulator module. So we have one more to go. What is? What do you? S no way. You actually sell, like iron bars and whatnot. That is extremely useful. They're really expensive though. Oh, I forgot to show you guys, I got a banana mask, and it's apparently worth 2,500 coins, so, or pixels, so I'm going to keep that forever, because this is the most rare helmet I'll ever have in my life. <laughs> no, it's really cool, though, it makes me happy. Uh, I, I'm rocking it. I think I do a really well job at rocking it, but yeah, okay, so the tech I'm working on now is truly fantastic. It enables the user to compress into a small spherical form, ideal for moving around in tight spaces. I need some final components to finish it. Could you bring me 10 gold bars? Sure, done that. And we've got another manipulator module. So now, I don't know if we have them. No, we don't already have them on them or on us. Uh, we'll go back and do the upgrade here in a moment, but let's go ahead and see. My distortion sphere tech is already to roll. No, is ready to roll. I'd like you to test it on the new obstacle course I've set up. You should have no problems getting into any of the narrow spaces inside. Talk to me again when you're ready to go in. I am ready, dude. Give me any bit of tech that you can. I am loving being able to move around easier. So I don't... Okay, let's see. Press F. Oh, look at that. It's like Metroid. Does it use... Oh, it does use energy. Oh, that's not good. Um, yes, I'm definitely going to need to do some armor upgrades soon. But that, I've been wondering what's up with, like, the small space stuff. Because, uh, I've been seeing it. Oh, man, you can even roll uphill and stuff. That is seriously one of the coolest things. I've been seeing all over the place, though, like, uh, places where I could, like, turn into a little Metroid ball. And I just didn't know how to do it. But now, I know how. <laughs> I'm, like... Totally excited about this. Although, uh, to be honest, it's probably going to be a little bit useful or useless considering it can only really be used in dungeons and stuff. It appears you will have to activate your distortions for your mid jump. Oh, mid jump. That's awesome. It's like parkour and whatnot. Oh, no. It even has like a fast rolling thing. Oh, it doesn't open unless you're. Oh, I got it now. Okay. There we go. That was pretty easy. Let's go ahead and return back. So I guess now, hopefully this is, again, going to be a situation where we get to keep it. Uh, that would be pretty cool, like I said. And then I think we probably need to prepare for the Dreadwing guy, because we need to get some armor and whatnot. All right, excellent. The Distortion Sphere tech performed just as I'd hope it would. Please keep it. Thank you. Now, thanks to you, I've been able to make significant strides in my research. Bonus, 300 pixels. That is awesome, guy. That is awesome. Okay, so... 
you're busy now. There's nothing else that he really wants to do. And that's because, um, okay, uh, Air Dash. I think Air Dash is the one that I really always wanted. Or maybe Rocket Jump, maybe? I don't know. Um, how do you unlock these, though? Required tech cards. Or maybe I can't. Maybe I have to, uh, actually, wait a minute. Do I have the tech cards on me? Perhaps if we were to go back up to the ship and grab the tech cards, because I know I've got some. Maybe if I have them, it'll unlock it to where I can enable it. But who knows? Nothing in there. Um, is there any more missions to do? I noticed that there's this kind of been a quiet place, and everyone's sitting there. <laughs> I know that uh, there is the Dreadwing guy. Let's go ahead and, before we leave and go back to the ship, he just actually fell down there. Let's, let's go take a peek and see what we got down here. Um, this is closed. A trading post yet to be occupied. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've been using the uh, the magnifying glass of the research thing as a flashlight because it kind of acts just like a flashlight. So why not? All right. So yeah, okay. Help me out, would ya? Business around here hasn't been so great since all of my regulars are on the run from Dreadwing and his gang of crooks. Can you go and defeat Dreadwing for me? Come speak when you are ready. I'll send you right to him. Okay, um, I'm going to decline that for now, and I think maybe next episode... Is that trash I can have? No, I can't have that trash. <laughs> I was excited. I thought I'd found some good trash, but the trash that I found was, in fact, trash. Um, what? what? Okay, uh, yeah, let's, let's just continue on back to the ship, and then we'll try and come back and see if we can use the tech cards. But first, we have some very important business to attend to. Let's go ahead and grab those tech cards. We can go ahead and do another upgrade. Now, here's the thing. There's two different upgrades that I'm really focused on at the moment. One is this one, and it basically increases the area of effect to three tiles. Whereas this one is like a, a quicker, you know, destruction. It takes four more. This one's available. I think I'm going to do this one because overall, this one should save in terms of... Sp I don't know. It's going to help. Like, it, it does help to have... A wider range. What does that one do? Four? Oh, wow. Five. That is crazy that it goes up that high. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Because I want to do them all eventually, It and this will be a good one to have just for now. So now the range is three blocks instead of two, uh, and if we hold shift, it goes to one. So that that's going to be very useful. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and make one quick stop down to the outpost, and we will be good once again. The ultimate parkour. Ho! Oh, I did it. Yeah, you just saw that bird guy. I did that. No problem. So let's see. Uh, I do have the tech on me, but it doesn't. Oh, it does. It does work. It does work indeed. So sprint replaces the dash with a sprint that costs energy. Um, what about wall? No, I don't want wall jump. Transform into a sphere that can climb walls. He's like, hmm. I'm pretty sure there's one of them that like allows you to essentially fly. Gives you a delayed air boost in any direction. No. Three small jumps. No. Um. Dash. That sounds. Sprint sounds kind of like something I'd want. A dash that blinks past traps and enemies. Um. A dash that can be used in the air. That sounds good too. Let's just try the sprint. So we've got sprint now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a lot quicker. I like that. <laughs> that's going to be very useful because now I can run and get there really quickly. Get where, you may ask. I don't know. But I can get there. <laughs> that's the important thing. Let's go ahead and beam up. Oh, man. I almost smashed the ground. That would have been bad. <laughs> I'm so tired of dying in this game. Look at that. I can run so fast. I'm like the Flash. This is great. Uh, now, the only thing I really need to do is start expanding the energy bar. That way, I'm not using that all the time. Oh, what a nice little pet I have. Let's go ahead and put that up so that we don't have to worry about that anymore. I need to start, you know, getting into the habit of putting all this stuff up or else I'm going to lose it one day. Um, all right, so I think I need to... Do I have any more, like, cotton wills? I think I may. I may not. My goal is to get enough armor to be able to properly... Hmm. Cotton wool. I could do one cotton... Or not cotton thing. One upgrade of the armor, I think. And I'd like to go ahead... Or maybe not. Tungsten bars. Okay, so not copper. I thought copper was the next upgrade, but I guess not. 
Tungsten is the way to go. And I do have enough tungsten, so I'm not too worried. Uh, okay, so I think the breastplate's definitely going to be the stronger one. What all does it take? So it does take leather. I'm very happy that I held on to leather. <laughs> iron bars, I guess, are the next up. Is that the thing? Yeah, iron bars are next. And that takes cotton wool, one for each. And I only have one, so I definitely... I'm pretty sure, though, I can make more. Cotton wool... Yeah, I can make three. Oh, sweet. So we get the full armor now, I'm pretty sure. Let's let's give it a shot. So we've got that. I really don't want to have to wear the helmet because helmets are ugly. I like just having my wonderful hair flowing in the wind. But again, I'm not too worried about it. So now we've got a full set of armor. That should protect us, and we won't die as much. <laughs> and also, I got an achievement there. That's awesome. Uh, so now we're already wearing it. Oh, sweet. The helmet doesn't show. So let's put those on. So that's the scavenger's thing. And that's uh, scavenger's trousers. Can't even see it because of my awesome outfit. <laughs> I'm the banana mascot for, like, a football team or something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And I also got this fridge. I don't think you guys really saw this. I thought there was food in there, but I guess not. I need to eat while we're at it. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I think we're going to go ahead and try and tackle Dreadwing because I think I could do it. I mean, honestly, I've got the tools. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to prepare and try and get a little things organized and clean up my inventory so that we don't lose everything. And then I think we're going to go try and defeat the evil, dreaded Dreadwing. And so it was. After being defeated by Dreadwing many of times, System Z decided to take another approach. Saving the viewers time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna save your time and not show you the clips of me epically failing by Dreadwing. Gosh, I was not expecting it to be that hard. <laughs> I mean, it's not that it's hard. I just, I'm getting defeated terribly. My armor is not good. And after doing some reading, I have found that titanium armor is basically the expected armor for this boss. So... Uh, that being said, I'm going to try and get some Erkius fluid. That way we can go and fly to a planet that has titanium ore. And I'll try and be very careful uh, with, you know, the time this episode. Because I know last episode I was extremely, like, hell-bent on, you know, exploring that planet and getting my stuff back to the point where you guys couldn't really enjoy the episode. <laughs> so, uh, I know that we got off topic. So I'm going to try and cut it as much as I can here and not show too much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead, get some Erkius fluid here, and try and get as much as I can, which is 260. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys, I guess, the process of me getting it, you know, just mining it. And I'll cut right back to when we're going to make the armor so that we can officially go battle Dreadwing and not die. I think while I'm here, I'm going to do some general exploration. But oh man, I thought I was about to break my legs there. But don't worry. Because I'm not going to just sit here and show you guys everything I do on camera. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to take a peek around and see what we can find. After much confusion, I've come to the realization that I have to upgrade the furnace <laughs> to get the stuff that I want. So... Uh, I'm going to have to do that. I don't know how many pieces of glass I'm going to need. Actually, I can check. Uh, we're going to need five. So let's go ahead and create five pieces of glass. And now we can upgrade. So now we've got the next up furnace. And there it is, titanium ore. Thank God. I thought my game was glitching out there for a moment. <laughs> but now we can pretty much put all that into ore. Or, well, yeah, ore, essentially, bars. Uh, and I don't... I think, uh, I guess we might have to upgrade this one as well. All right, so now we can upgrade this. Now we've got a much bigger set, and it looks like uh, we can go ahead and get the... No, that's not the right one. This is the right one. Oh, no, it requires silk and a canvas. I don't know how to do that. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to have to go over here to the spinning wheel and do the same thing here. Oh no, oh wait, I can require, or I can I can make tons of that. <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. So let's go ahead and craft that. So 25 string. This one's going to take a little bit longer, so I will be right back. And done. 
So now we can upgrade that, which I'm guessing allows us to make silk. Silk fiber. Canvas. Cotton wool. Okay, so we can do that. I know I've made sure to get a little bit of cotton wool in case I needed it. Uh, so how many are we going to need? This is a little scary. <laughs> uh, we're going to need one canvas for that and then... So just two canvases. Okay. Uh, and we need two more of these, which is perfect. That's the right amount. Okay, so two of these. And last but not least, we're going to need some silk. And I don't know where to get silk fiber from. So it's a little scary, but I'd like to go ahead and see if I can't upgrade these other ones too while I'm at it. So let's maybe just grab a few of those and uh, just upgrade that one. We may as well. And that one definitely unlocks some more stuff. Maybe some furniture. That'd be nice. A swamp cot. Huh. More beds for sure. I don't know about blocks though. Is there another one I can do? I'm pretty sure this one. Uh, this one's going to take a little bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely can't do that one. This one could be upgraded as well. So let's do that. We need glass for that though. So we may as well. I mean, this is. It doesn't hurt to upgrade for sure. I mean, I didn't realize. I, I totally forgot that these could be upgraded in the first place. Okay, that takes 10 glass. Let's, <laughs> let's try and get that. Okay, uh. And then. I'm going to go find some silk, and we'll finally be able to take out Dreadwing. Hopefully. It might be hard for me still. I don't know. So upgrade, and now we can make much more stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, this is this is a big improvement. <laughs> so I'm going to check some of this stuff out, and uh, yeah, I'll get right back to you guys. Moth traps are the key. <laughs> Thank goodness there is a wiki. <laughs> All right, so moth traps are apparently what we need. Now I just gotta go to the home that we have set, our little temporary uh, starter home, and try and set some of these out. And then we're gonna have to wait for the appropriate time, which is pretty much night, apparently. So I guess from what I can tell, I'm gonna have to do some more farming and whatnot. I'll just, uh, oh wow, these are a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. Uh, let's just set these here for now. I don't plan on keeping them long. Uh, but I can't use them until they're full. So I guess I'm just going to wait it out and kind of keep an eye on it. And hopefully then we can continue on. Actually, before we do that, we may as well go ahead and make the uh, the other bits of armor since we've, we've got the time. Let's uh, So Pioneer's Helm. There's that one. And that one. There we go. This one's going to take a little bit longer. Did I even make that one? I don't think I actually did make this one. Let's... Let's see what we got. So, yeah, let's take off this stuff. Yeah, Pioneer's Trousers, and that's it. We don't have the other one. So, I've got to make that one. I always, like, go away from it too quick. Way too quick. <laughs> the plus side here is that we're also going to get more energy. Or at least I hope so. So, now we have the appropriate helmet as well. And I don't think we're really going to need these anymore. But I do want to compare them. So, the trousers alone definitely provide more defense and health and everything. So... That's good. That's definitely good. Let's go ahead and throw away the rest of the stuff. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't get some silk so we can finally craft the breastplate and finally battle Dreadwing. Requires one silk. And now I can create one silk. It looks like I actually can create. Nope, I would have needed one more. So I went out to uh, make some food tonight. Not out. <laughs> I went to the kitchen to make some food and just kind of let it sit there while I waited and that definitely helped. So it, it didn't take too long. I, I didn't I don't know how many days passed. Probably about four days in Starbound, but I was able to get seven. So in case you're playing along, that's pretty much what happened there. So now we can go ahead and make the Pioneer's Chest Guard, which definitely provides a, a good amount of defense and energy and health. I don't know how it compares to the other one though and I would like to check on that first. So this one is, um, oh, I'm already wearing it. Oh, did I already take it off? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this one is 30 defense. That one's 22. That one, 10, 15. Okay, yeah, this is much better. And in terms of attack, too, this also helps. So definitely a little bit stronger. So I'm a little excited. I do want to keep these uh, stylish clothes that I have. Those are the starter clothes. But now we're good. Now we are definitely good. And I'm going to go ahead and get everything organized here. That way we can officially battle Dreadwing for the hundredth time for me personally. <laughs> and uh, I definitely am going to want to craft some more of these guys. So let's go ahead and get those. And hopefully this will be a one time, like one, one try 
victory because I've already been humili- what? <laughs> Can't talk. I've already been humiliated enough by my, you know, the the feats. Oh, that's not even I just my uh my my losses. There we go. <laughs> so yeah. Um this is this is hopefully going to be an easy battle. I I know for a fact that it's definitely harder than I remember. But now that we've upgraded our armor just a little bit more and I've gotten a little bit more weapons, maybe we'll be good to go. There's only one way to figure out, and that's to go ahead and battle Dreadwing. This is it. There he is. There's the almighty Dreadwing, the person that we have been talking about. I'm not really afraid at all because I've got throwing knives that I can use. I don't know how to use them, though, so uh, this should be interesting. <laughs> I don't think they're really doing much in terms of damage, but, uh, oh no, they're definitely doing damage. Oh, wow, that is, that is a strong throwing knife. I'm just missing all over the place. That's the only problem. Let's try not to miss. <laughs> oh, he don't even know what's about to hit him. <laughs> I'm already noticing a significant improvement here. This is, this is much better. Man, this is like an easy battle all over the place. Uh, maybe I should, I should, uh, be careful because if I speak too soon... I could definitely notice that I'll be defeated. I'm already starting to lose here. This is getting a little scary. And the health that I have is terrible. Why are these so slow? It's so unfortunate. Let's throw these bombs. Maybe those will help out a little bit. Probably not much, but just a little bit. That'd be nice. And there he is. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Wing? I, uh, I'm happy to be battling you today. A little bit difficult you are, but uh, I'm not too worried about it because I'm confident that I can defeat you with no problem. I just need to go and take care of your little minions, and then we'll be good. He's got his little minions flying around now. It's a little creepy, but you know what? I am confident. Oh, this is it. Oh, we're... No, oh, I gotta run. Okay. I could not run there. I don't know why I was unable to sprint. Oh, and now this guy's got a explosion gun, huh? <laughs> it seems like everyone just coincidentally has something that they, they can use to their advantage. But you know what? I have an awesome hammer. And, uh, oh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Just got to get a few of these hits in, and we'll be good. I am almost done, guys. Not too much longer left. Oh, just a few more hits. <laughs> just a few more hits, and that is it. We will be done and ready to go. I could probably do it with this gun. Did it. Oh, yeah, victory. I'm getting shot all over the place. <laughs> victory, as Stewie would say, victory is mine. We did it. Oh, man, that, that was a... Very fun battle, actually. That was really, really good compared to all the other times. Wow, that, I mean, previously it took a long time to beat him, but you know what? This time, oh wait, leaving the mission? No, I don't want to leave the mission. Return to the bartender. Oh, I've got to take the portal. That's probably the right way to do it. <laughs> leaving the mission? No, I, I'm repeating myself. Uh, before, you know, I was, I was being thrown around easily. Like, I was being hurt bad, but now... Now, now, I, I, I'm doing pretty good. I've got a good amount of armor now. And, uh, yeah, that was no problem. I think I think I should have definitely prepared a little bit more there at the beginning. So, if you're playing along, make sure that you don't just go and try and beat him as soon as you can. Because it's not as easy as you think. It's definitely a little bit harder than it used to be. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. We've got new guys down here. Is, uh, is the new place open? I'm actually going to check on that before I go over here. And uh, maybe, just maybe, it'll be open. It does not open yet, but maybe they're working on it? I don't know. Looks like we've got the whole club popping now, though. Look at all these guys. <laughs> they're all happy to be here. So let's check out our reward. You sorted them out for me. Thanks. Now I'm back in business. Come speak to me if you want a doubloon to hire a penguin merc. Okay. Uh, so, I got a reward. I imagine it's just another... Thing. Yep, <laughs> another ma manipulator module. After briefly peeking around, I am under the conclusion that there are no missions for me to do currently. So I think now that we've done this boss battle, our next goal for next episode is going to be to resettle. I'd really like to rebuild like a new home, something a lot bigger, a lot better, and definitely better for organization. Because one thing is for sure, I have stuff everywhere right now. <laughs> So I think that's our plan next episode, but don't hold me to that. I know that we are going to do more progression, but I do want to get a better farm system going, and we're going to need a bigger home for that. So 
we may be doing some building next episode. If you'd like to see that, go ahead and send me some screenshots of what you're building in Starbound. I'd love to see it. You can do that on Twitter. My Twitter is in the description below, and it is also at SystemZ. Anyways, guys, my name has been, what did I say? Uh, my name has been Sasparillo, <laughs> SystemZ, and thank you guys for watching.